Hello and welcome to the Alter Aeon Spring 2016 Update audio presentation. I am Shadowfax, coder, builder, player, and all-around general good guy. In these quarterly updates, we discuss recent events, offer insight into game mechanics, and reveal plans for the future. Things don't always go as planned, however. Real life really kicked my buns in February. I had my boiler break, my toilet break, my car break, and my toilet break again. All of which, of course, required my immediate attention. Thus, though we offer these updates in an effort to keep our audience well informed, sometimes a predicted event like Valentine's Day doesn't always proceed as scheduled. We ask for your patience and understanding in these matters. Now, back in January, Team Shadowdrock released the Isle of Naginag for the 21st anniversary. This large multi-zone area was designed to provide content for the newly available level 37 cap, and it seems to have been well received. I have been adding additional jobs and quests since the area's implementation, and intend to continue doing so until summer. Also in January, the Dream Team released a level 17 area on the island of Cordan, known as the Maze of the Black Minotaur, which is located below the Cordwood. In the beginning of March, they also released two level 26 areas on Archaeus, the village of Woodhaven, and the Amber Forest. All of these areas are filled with many quests with good storylines. Morpheus and his crew are currently working on adding more dreams to the Monastery of Dreams, since so many enjoy the format of thinking and solving problems as opposed to just more hack and slash. The Dream Team is also working on a 400 room massive group zone for high level players. There will be little equipment, mostly uh, spell components, as it is intended to be a pure experience zone. In addition to this, they continue to clean up the islands, rework quests, and clean everything up so that the path is as smooth as it can be made. This past quarter, we added a lot of new code, including the popular tailoring skill and tons of new brag and show options. I am currently adding list switches for improved item visibility. On my agenda for the next couple of months is the evasion skill, a high level thief skill for reduced damage against certain spells, upgrading the clan code to allow tithes, automatic promotions, and newbie clans, and ranged weapons. I'm not sure I'll get all that done before June, because I'll have to start working on our fourth annual Summer Solstice Celebration. This event will begin on Monday, June 20th, and will end on Monday the 27th. We will be taking advantage of previous code updates such as auto-leveling, and this year's event will also be plot-heavy and have a strong story. The Puzzlewood will also be making a reappearance along with new survival quests. By the way, we celebrated Baby Fax's first birthday at the end of January. Aside from wearing a helmet for a short time to correct a flat spot, he has been a perfectly healthy little guy. That concludes this quarterly update. Thanks for listening, and please share this video with your friends and encourage them to play Alter Aeon, where every day is an adventure. Happy mudding, everybody! AlterAeon.com That's A-L-T-E-R-A-E-O-N.com